Wouldn't it be great if you could get an entire list of your folder structure without having to click through it? A bit like find a list view, but in Excel. Well, you can with a bit of simple terminal or command coding that you don't need to be a tech genius to use. Check out how to do it in this video. Hi, I'm Amanda Littlecott, the photo organizer, and I'm all about helping you preserve and share your precious photo and video memories without getting overwhelmed. If you're looking to rediscover life's special moments and protect them for future generations, then be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified every time I release a new video. I am a fully signed up Excel geek. I even have the mug. See? So it is my default program for searching and sorting data. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get a full folder deep file list on both Mac and PC that you can pop into Excel, Google Sheets or Numbers and search and sort to your heart's content. I use it to see all the folders of photos that need to be sorted or have been created, but you can use it however you like. Now, to be clear, I am not an expert coder and I'm still slightly frightened of it. So we are in this together. Mac Terminal. For Mac Terminal, the first job is to find the terminal window. So go to the launch pad and search for terminal. If you don't already know where the window is, the window will come up and you need to type find then drag and drop the file that you want to be able to see all of the folder structure of and type minus, type, space, F, space, the arrow, and then the file name that you want the file to be called. So files with paths and txt. Press return and when the prompt reappears, your file has been run. You can go and find it in your home folder of your username. And there you have your lovely files with paths file. PC command. For Windows, just go to Windows Explorer and navigate to the top folder of the structure you want to see. In the path box at the top, click on it and type CMD. Press return and the command box will open up at the location of where you were. Presto. Now you just need to type D I R forward slash S forward slash B little arrow and then what you want your file name to be called. So files with paths with TXT at the end. Press return. When the command prompt appears again, your file is done and will appear in the top of the folder structure you've asked it to look at. Open it up and there it is. Make it a spreadsheet. Now you could just make the file extension the extension for the tool you want to open it in. Like for Excel, it would be .xlsx but I do text files so I can make my choice. And here is how I use the text file to get the data in some nice columns. For Excel. So open up your files with path text file, select it all and copy it. For Excel, go over and open a new worksheet and Paste it in. Now we need to go to the data tab, text to columns, and pick delimited. In the next window, unselect tab and go to other. Now, depending on whether you did your file download in Windows or Mac will depend on what you need to put, because obviously they like to be different. For the Mac, if you've done a terminal file, you need to put a forward slash. For Windows, it needs to be a backslash. Press finish. And you will have your beautiful folder structure in columns ready to work with. For numbers on the Mac. 
for numbers on the Mac, open up your files with path text, select it all, copy it and paste it into a new number sheet. That's not what we want. So we need to adjust the settings. Go to delimited and under custom delimiter will depend on if you ran a Mac terminal file or a PC command file. For a Mac terminal file, put a forward slash and for a PC command file, put a backslash. Then click update table and it will update into a beautiful column per folder and file structure, ready for you to sort. For Google Sheets. For Google Sheets, open up your files with paths text file, copy everything and paste it into a new Google Sheet. Go to data and split text to columns. And this little pop-up will come saying separator detect automatically. Click on it and we want to go to custom. Now, depending on if you did a Mac terminal file or a PC command file, you'll need to put something different. For Mac terminal, put that forward slash and for PC, you need to do a backslash. Press return and it will beautifully put everything in to columns for you. Ready for you to do some sorting. All done. So now you can see your folder structure in your favorite spreadsheet tool. What other bits of cheeky code do you like to use? Leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead with a like and a share and don't forget to subscribe. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.